While nobody wants to enter into a dispute, serious disagreements are an unavoidable part of doing business for which you need to be prepared. For this reason, it is vital for organisations and other companies to think about dispute resolution methods upon entering into a contract. Here at Brodie's, we offer a suite of dispute resolution methods and we work closely with each individual client to assess their needs and select the approach best suited to them. Approaches include arbitration, adjudication, expert determination and mediation. This video will look at all of these approaches, but first we'll start by looking at litigation. Litigation does come in all shapes and sizes, and litigation should really be a last resort. We would always encourage clients to try and reach agreement through direct negotiation and come to the lawyers as a last resort. However, there are other things we can do before we end up in the court. We always try and encourage clients to look to resolve their disputes through alternative dispute resolution, including arbitration and mediation. This can be a very effective way of resolving disputes without having to go to the cost and risk that is associated with ending up in a courtroom. In Scotland, if it's a commercial matter, we would ordinarily recommend that people go to the Court of Session Commercial Division. This court has at its main advantages speed and flexibility. In particular, you'll be assigned a judge at the outset, there'll be early case management, and that should ensure that the issues are fixed and focused early on in the proceedings. This again should lead to a quick determination and also save cost for the client. We try to produce a roadmap for the clients and we try to make sure that they're well aware of the cost associated with each stage of the proceedings. That's important when it comes to the client budgeting for the particular dispute they're in. If you're about to go into litigation in Scotland, we have the people, the skills, the top tier talent to make sure that we deliver results for your clients. Mediation is a way of resolving a dispute without going to court. It sits between informal negotiations between parties and the more formal court process. The mediator is an independent, neutral person who facilitates discussion between the parties and helps them reach a resolution. Well, the key aspects of mediation are, first of all, that it's a voluntary process. Parties come together because they want to try and resolve their dispute. It's confidential, which is very important. It means that sensitive issues uh, involving maybe commercially sensitive information or reputational matters can be discussed and resolved um, out with the public eye. It's a process that's driven by the parties themselves. They reach a decision that suits them. They don't have a decision imposed by a third party as happens in a court or in arbitration. And the process is also tends to be quicker and therefore tends to be cheaper, certainly, than court procedure. Mediation can be used um, generally to resolve any dispute. It can also be used at any stage in a dispute. And what we would do is we would work with the client to see when and if mediation would be appropriate. Adjudication is a process developed primarily for the construction industry whereby a man of skill is appointed and the parties set out their respective positions over a 28-day period which results in a decision by the adjudicator which is binding until overturned by litigation, arbitration or agreement. Most disputes are suitable for adjudication, although the more complex they are and the more evidence involved, it's more difficult to achieve a resolution within 28 days, so the parties quite often have to extend that period by agreement. You'll know if you can adjudicate because your contract will say so, you've expressly agreed at the start, or the Housing Grants Construction Regeneration Act will imply that into certain construction contracts. The message is, have certainty, always include the right in your contract. The key benefits of adjudication are speed and that you'll get a resolution within 28 days and flexibility. Most disputes are actually resolved by adjudication and, and they are not appealed. Arbitration is a process where parties agree that a dispute which they have, usually over a contract, will be decided by an arbitrator who is picked by them for their expertise in a particular area or sector. There are a number of key benefits for clients who decide to undertake arbitration to resolve their disputes. One of them is confidentiality. When you decide to arbitrate, both parties are agreeing that they will keep the matter confidential. So that's the fact of the dispute as well as the outcome. When parties decide to arbitrate, they can decide at the outset whether they will have an appeal against the decision that the arbiter has made. So they can decide one level of appeal or no appeal at all. And that's in contrast with litigation where 
they would have a decision from a single judge, it could be appealed to three judges, and then could even be appealed onto the Supreme Court for five judges. And that can have significant financial consequences. Controlling the costs in any dispute are important, particularly to commercial clients. In arbitration, they can decide that there will be a cap on costs, they can decide that each side will bear their own expenses, or they can decide that whoever wins the arbitration recovers all the costs, and they can decide that at the outset. One of the great benefits of arbitration is that when the parties are situated in different countries, they can be confident that the arbitrator's decision can be enforced wherever they are. There's been a great resurgence in interest in arbitration in Scotland, and at Brodie's we're particularly keen that clients should be aware of the benefits of arbitration, particularly since the new 2010 Arbitration Scotland Act came into force. Expert determination is a, it's a form of dispute resolution where rather than going to court to resolve the dispute, an industry expert is appointed and that industry expert will use their own know-how um, in order to assist parties in resolving the dispute so they won't be reliant or dependent on um, purely the evidence of the submissions of one party. One of the key things that should be included in a contract if parties are looking to resolve a dispute through expert determination is that the contract should be clear that the expert is appointed as an expert and not as an arbitrator. Uh, we were involved in the leading Scottish case on this, McDonald Estates against NCP, and we successfully argued that an expert was an expert and not an arbitrator. And the consequence of that was that the dispute was resolved in a matter of weeks, rather than if the expert had been deemed to be an arbitrator, it could have taken um, months, if not years, to resolve the dispute, which should have had very significant consequences for the client. The, the, the first reason uh, for using expert determination is speed. Um, an expert determination is typically uh, resolved within a matter of weeks, two or three months at most. Clearly a, a knock-on consequence of that is that the cost involved uh, in dealing with an expert determination is, is much less than a, a typical litigation. In addition, I would say confidentiality is a significant factor. Expert determination is an entirely private process. In fact, in some, there will be no published decision, and in fact, in, in some cases, um, there will be no reasons given for the decision at all. Choice is also a factor. Um, in a typical court action, parties will have, have no influence over who the judge might be resolving that dispute, whereas in relation to expert determination, then parties can choose who their expert might be, assuming they can agree. If they can't agree, the contract will generally provide that um, a particular industry body should appoint an expert. Possibly one of the major reasons for choosing expert determination, I would say, is finality. Within Brodie's, if we're instructed to draft your contract, we can give you full, frank advice about exactly what form of dispute resolution is appropriate for you, so the provisions in your contract will be appropriate, and then if the worst happens and there is a dispute, we have a significant pool of expertise to take you through that whole process and ensure that you achieve the right result for you.